and Ralph was going to consummate his new relationship with May. And so they go down there. Like a jack and And, you know, they're all doing all sorts of drugs, getting high as fuck. I think, I think Riley had shrooms or something like that. Um, I, I don't know what other drugs were involved. That's where the, cause, cause the part in the middle is where things get kind of murky. And that's why I was hoping Riley could tell the story. Like the drugs are like the least, like least amount of revelation, by the way, you know? Well, we all know the guy's fucked up yeah. on drugs every day of his life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. About what was going on at that part, because that's the part that I missed out on, that I didn't hear anything about. But they were doing drugs, and at a certain point, Ralph and May kind of go off on their own. And... They start fooling around when everybody else is distracted in a way. Well, apparently, someone walks in on them <laughs> while they're while they're while they're fooling around. Mm. And this is incorrect, by the way. Immediately, I just want to point that out. But Ralph gets accused of raping men. <laughs> Whoa! God of Conquest 91 sent ten dollars since they're making shit up about the Ralph and Molly sex life. I mean, I could get pants over right now if I wanted to. It's so ridiculous. The virulent, the virile Ralph and Mel. He's still yelling like incoherently. Um, but she claims that Pantsu was actually the one that. Oh yeah, here she is actually. Raped by Ralph and threw him under the bus right like that. You've really picked the winner there, Ralph. You've picked the right horse to ride there. When she just roll over on you like that and accuse you of being a rapist, which potentially you could have got fucking beaten senseless by a bunch of trannies in this fucking house. So, you did Smudge sent $10 an dollars beef and rough pill popping animal. Syrup God sipping damn. nigger. Ralph at like 12 in the morning. Toronto Gaming Commission sent $3. It's just like in one of my Chinese cartoons. <laughs> go ahead, Pantsu. Even then. Can you be heard? I can be heard. Yeah, go ahead. What do you say to this preposterous story being told? It's it's really creepy hearing Gator recount it because you can tell he's like fantasized about it and changed aspects of the story. It's just really creepy. You can tell he's totally jealous too. Just tell just tell your what happened. Okay. Um. Well, you came over and um. We we probably weren't even going to go do anything, but I like really wanted to fuck you. <laughs> Go ahead. Just so, tell the story. Just tell the story. From the very beginning. Just tell. Just tell the story. Okay. okay. Just tell whatever you want. Here well, me. you were gonna come over and hang out with us, um, and I was at that time living with Digi Riley, his fucking weird autistic girlfriend that he's now whoring out on like OnlyFans, and uh, whatever the fucking faggot bird is, right? <laughs> so they were all there, um, and you brought over your ex too, and that was the night that you found out that I think she was pregnant, right? Yes. So it was kind of like a very awkward encounter. And everybody there was like on acid too at this time. I was not. No, neither of us did acid. Um, and not bullshitting us, not just me no. saying that I wasn't. Riley had some and then I think those faggots all did acid. But you came over and I really wanted to fuck. So I was like. Faith didn't have any either, by <laughs> no, the way, no. the person there. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so we went away in your car um, and we like did the deed. And we came back um, and you fucked me so good that like. I don't know. Some Riley said something like really kind of that pissed me off about my relationship with Digi, and I just like got really mad and like left the house and <laughs> went on a walk. And then uh, I think everybody came and found me, and I just like told everybody that I fucked you because I don't know. I felt really guilty. Um, and then there was some kind of like weird uh, telephone game, and Riley like somehow thought that you raped me, and he started like accosting you, and it turned into like this fucking fight, and. Uh, <laughs> You and Faith were in the car, and he was, like, just yelling at you, like, screaming at you and, like, not letting you leave. He was having some kind of fucking, like, he was, like acid trip or something. I don't yeah, know. He, he was, was yelling at me, like, trying to fight me in the street. And I was yeah, like, he was fucking cracked out, and, like, I had to get between you guys. And uh, then you left, and that was it. Yeah, so that's the story. 
Um, and it's one of those things where, yeah, it wouldn't be public, but I don't care. Like, it's whatever. I've, I've talked about my life openly anyway. Like, it's not even, it's not even a got you. Like, you guys are just making shit up. Yeah, Riley strung out like the fucking crackhead he yeah. was, was saying fucking crazy shit like that. Um, but that never even happened in the first place. So, uh, anyway, yeah, that's the story there. Um, somebody said repent, Ralph. Well, one day. Um, <laughs> But thank you for telling that story. Now, what else do you do? You have any other thoughts? Oh, no regrets. <laughs> that was a fun fucking night. <laughs> it was fun. It's one of those things. Uh, it's one of those things. I have a story to tell now. But it's so funny when you hear like their story. And it's like, uh, okay, none of that ever even fucking happened. The person who wigged out was this Riley freak, like, and the, you know. <sighs> pregnant person involved too like this guy is just you know freaking out in the middle of the street on whatever fucking mm -hmm. cocktail of drugs he was on uh and i wasn't on shit so it's like i actually know like this whole fake ass story about like the, whenever you know what i mean like oh ralph was on all this and that's like no actually not at all um that dude was the one cracked out so anyway uh but thank you i appreciate that i'm gonna go see the baby <laughs> i right, go see the baby now, let's see what they're saying. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.